uh, creating the the second resource that is why we are getting this so we have to just uh, make sure we give comma only when we are going to create the next resource so i'll just give me some time i'll just uh, so here we go we have now just written the security group configuration so i have given the name of the security group as web security group and uh, the similar thing like we need to define the type what kind of resources is this so this is a aws ec2 security group that's pretty fine then we are defining the properties of this web security group that security group so the proper in the properties we have multiple key value parameters the first one is group description so we can we want to enable http and ssh access and then we will just uh, create an array of security group ingress so what are the ports which will be allowed for inbound traffic so we are just creating an array of that and we will give the protocol and port number and incoming ip addresses so here if you see the v protocol we are using is ip uh, tcp protocol and from port is 80 to port is 80 so we are just opening port number 80 for web traffic and the second uh, port is 22 so the protocol is tcp only but the port number is 22 and uh, it's opening to the world so this uh, incoming connection is for the whole world so this is fine so we have just ended the array here and uh, this bracket will close the security group properties and this will close the whole security group uh, thing so this is how we have uh, defined the resources we have created ec2 instance type ec2 instance and the second thing security group so so now uh, let's just check uh, whether this uh, formatting is valid or not Let's just validate this. So I'll just open a site JSON validator. And anyone will work. Let's open this one. Okay. Maybe some other. JSON formatter and validator. Let's see how is this? Yeah, this is looking good. So I'll just copy it the whole whole template. I'll copy it and I'll paste it here, and I will click on process. Okay, so it's telling it's a valid JSON format. So that's fine. Now we can just save it. So now I will say just save this template and I'll give it some name. Uh, I'll call it EC2 instance dot template. Okay, so it's saved. So now uh, let's just do one more thing. I'll do a uh, some i'll just make some errors in this uh, template and i'll see whether the json validator is able to figure it out or not so i have just removed this on uh, this bracket curly bracket on line number 41 and i'll just check again on the json validator let's see if it's giving correct result I just pasted the new one process okay so it's giving some uh, error let's see at what line okay yeah so it's telling there is some bracket issue so that is so that's correct so this is fine so we add one more bracket it should be working so that's fine it's giving the correct 
diesel so let's go again here and line number 41 we need to add one more back in Excellent. so uh, now we will use this uh, ec2 instance dot template to create a cloud stack in cloud formation and this should deploy one ec2 instance and uh, with the ami and key pair provided and it will create a a security group as well with the given port 80 and 22 so let me go to the cloud formation service now i have some options create new stack or stack set designer template so uh, we are going to create a new stack and uh, it's asking to choose a template so i will upload my template from here I need to check whether that where is that template present. So just go again here and copy full path. Now again I'll go for uploading this. So EC2 instance dot template. So I'll just upload this now next. I want to give some name, I'll put EC2 and instance, that's the valid name. Next, I can give some key value pair as well, but that is not required. IM role is also not required. Advanced setting is for SNS topic and all, so that is also not required. So we are just creating a basic ec2 instance using cloud formation so that's pretty good so everything is looking good i'll just hit hit on create so the creation process is in progress it has been initiated so let's just wait for some okay okay there is some issue here uh, value of property security groups must be of type list of a string. Okay. Okay, so this deployment, this cloud formation stack is failed. Let me go back again and validate the things. So, is that security group? Actually, the uh, I found the issue. The issue lies here, the security groups, because we have created web security group, but we are not using that, and uh, we we can just use it as it is. But uh, I would like to add a new feature that is called reference. So I'll I'll just refer the security group to get this one once it is created. So again, um, I will create an array type because we can give multiple reference. So I'll give a reference function and it will be equal to the web security group. This comma is not required since we have we are just creating a single reference so this is fine so now what we are doing here is we are just referencing this web security group in this uh, resource group so i think this is now should be fine everything else is looking okay i'll, I'll again save it and I'll go again to the cloud formation service. 
I'll choose the file again, PC2 instance template, and then go to next steps. Key value is not required, IM role is not required, advanced is not required. I'll just go and hit on create. 